Okay, this is Fred from Ogden, Utah, and Fred's been kind of doing the same thing I've been doing. Yeah. So Fred's kind of got the same kind of bike I do. Uh, he's got the newer model and uh, yeah, all suited up. He's been happy with it so far. Uh, so Fred, uh, you uh, you said you saw me on TV the other day in Fairbanks. Is Absolutely. that correct? Absolutely. And uh, what do you think of the story? Uh, excellent. Uh, uh, you uh, presented yourself well on uh, <laughs> TV. Uh, uh, caught my attention right away. Very good. And, uh, a uh, as a as a motorcyclist uh, traveling around, how do you feel when you see somebody actually using a cell phone while they're driving along? It's a be aware uh, situation. Uh, uh, just uh, keep your eyes open because Indeed. you you know they're not. Uh, paying 100% attention to what they're doing. Uh, have you ever seen anybody do something really stupid while driving with using a cell phone? Uh, I've seen them uh, uh, drop it and then go looking for it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Did they stay and, in their uh, lane? <laughs> seen a car swerving and uh. Uh, stuff like that. Can you stop for a minute? <laughs> Good hill, huh? Okay, this is uh, day 22 on the road, and I met Coco riding down the road on his bicycle. Coco's from Japan, and he's been riding for four years. He's got a whole list of countries that he's done here, across uh, Asia and, uh, and uh, Europe. And uh, he's, uh, he's writes for a magazine, but basically, uh, why are you doing this, Coco? Uh, I'm watching about the about the local people and the local cultures, of course, bicycle travel. Uh, as a, <laughs> as someone riding a bicycle on the yeah. road, uh, is it, uh, is it, does it worry you when people are using their cell phones? Yeah, so, you know, when I was in the Yolof, I had a small accident with a um, car. Uh -huh. He was <laughs> talking with mobile. Really? Near, it was, I, I touched his car just a little, but uh, he didn't care about me. <laughs> didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. And he was on his cell phone. Yeah. Okay, it's day 22 on the road, and I've run across Staff, who's from Victoria. Mm -hmm. She's been riding for about a week now, she said? Five maybe? days. About I five days. Yeah. Well, as you know, I'm riding for Ride of the Americas, and uh, we're trying to get people aware that they're not supposed to be using their cell phones, that it's a bad idea to use their cell phones while driving. Mm -hmm. Did you know that uh, 636,000 deaths a year can be attributed to people using their cell phones while they drive? I did not know that. Does that number surprise you? It does. And um, have you ever had any experiences with somebody using a cell phone while you were riding along on your bicycle? Well, I noticed, not on my bicycle, no. Um, I, as I said, you know, I've only been on the road for five days. But in the city, I mean, I ride around the city a lot. I'm from Victoria, and, you know, you get drivers all the time cutting you off, turning right corners. How much of that is contributed to cell phones, I don't know. But I just know also myself, like, I'm ashamed to admit that I have used a cell phone a few times while driving, you know, picking up that call to say, oh, I'll sure. call you back. Sure. And I always notice that I'm not paying attention when I'm on the phone. Indeed. So I really try not to do it. And I've talked to people who say, you know, yeah, I do 90% of my work in the car. Indeed. I have to do it. Indeed. Okay, day 22 on the road. I've met Bruce, who's here just uh, just south of Iskut on Highway 37, British Columbia. Uh, Bruce has been traveling for about a week now, come up from Santa Barbara, California, right? That's right. And uh, what's, the, what's the purpose of your journey? Well, um, I, I come up here just for the, for the wildness, the freedom, the, or the organic integrity of this place. The um, have you personally ever had any experiences with people uh, doing silly things while using a cell phone? Well, I, I've seen people s swerving a little bit, and I myself have, can also attest that d getting distracted while driving is it's very easy to do stupid things. No, indeed. You can easily swerve or just uh, your attention wanders. Right. And this point you just made about 37% uh, of the brain shifts over or whatever you were saying. <laughs> indeed. It's, that's a very persuasive argument. Indeed. Uh, I think indeed. If you can, I think if you can show that to people, you'll, you'll make a strong impact. Yeah. And you said in Southern California, it's um, uh, hands-free is the law? It's it's now the law. It's been so for I think all this year of 2009. 
Uh -huh. But people, uh, people don't always obey it. I Indeed. see people talking all the time. Okay, this is day 23 on the road. I'm sitting here with Kathy from Toronto. Uh, she's actually living up here in Bell 2 right now on the Cassiar Highway. And uh, she actually used to be a scuba instructor in Roatan. Five years you did that. I did. I did Amazing. Five years, yeah. And uh, and then what was that as far as a lifestyle change as far as there to here? It's coming home. Well, colder. <laughs> <for what? laughs> Cold. This year. Well, as you know, I'm uh, I'm I'm writing for Ride the Americas and the National Safety Council in Chicago. And um, <clears throat> we were talking just a minute ago about uh, about experiences with. Uh, uh, people driving on a cell phone. Have you ever ever had any experiences yourself uh, well, yeah. uh, with people on a cell phone or yourself? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've driven talking on a cell phone before. Yeah. The parking lot was the one main thing that I remember and it, you know, almost hitting somebody reversing and they're looking at you going, what are you doing? It's like, click, go on, see you later. Yeah, yeah and, no, and, and if ever. you hadn't been on the phone, there's no reason why you wouldn't exactly. have seen that person. Yeah, you wouldn't have been preoccupied. Yeah, they know that, you know that um, people using their, uh, using their cell phone are the cause of uh, approximately 636,000 accidents a year. I do now. <laughs> it's right there. And uh, those accidents result in 2,600 deaths a year, which is actually about seven people a day. That's horrible. Killed just because someone was using a cell phone. Yeah. Um, I now have the mandatory, I'm on the phone rings, I'm on the phone, I can, I'm driving, can't talk. All right, indeed. Yeah. Very good, very good. And, it, and um, uh, are there any laws here in British Columbia about uh, driving know, a cell phone? I know in, in Ontario they, they're, they're bringing it in, but not in BC, but I know. Okay. Of your behavior because everybody I've come across so far have said straight across yeah that's a great idea we shouldn't use our cell phones or they've had some kind of experience like you've had and say yeah it's just not a good idea to be talking on this phone mm -hmm. but then every major city I come into I look around and half the people sitting in their cars at the intersection are on their cell phones so they may agree with it but they're not necessarily uh, changing their behavior because of it yeah yeah sad really Indeed. truly very sad when you know that you shouldn't be doing Indeed. it people do it anyway. yeah. You guys remember that scene from Little House on the Prairie? Different prairie, of course.